After two years, a nationwide search and filtering through 70 candidates, two people remain in the running for the head of Orleans Parish Schools. Members of the Orleans Parish School Board could decide who will be the next leader of the school system tonight. But as WDSU anchor Latanya Norton reports, the search may or may not end tonight. She's on your side where the meeting is happening. And Latanya, what's the very latest? That's right, Camille and Scott. The wait could soon be over in the search for the next leader of the Orleans Parish school system. Here at McDonough 35 High School in Treme, that school board meeting just got underway. And tonight, the question is who will be the next superintendent, and will we find out tonight? One of them is going to get the, the, the five votes needed. It's been a long, winding, bumpy road to finding the next superintendent of Orleans Parish Schools. The search began roughly two years ago with 70 candidates. Now it's narrowed down to two. Dr. Deborah Lindo of California and New Orleans native Dr. Henderson Lewis Jr. Lewis is the superintendent of schools in East Feliciana Parish and was recently reelected to the St. Bernard Parish School Board. Dr. Lindo is an educational consultant and retired superintendent of schools for the Emeryville, California United School. District where she served for three years. We just really want to make sure we get the right person uh, for the job. We feel it's very important for the children um, and for the entire uh, Orleans Parish school system so that we can be an example for the rest of the state. There's both there's pros and cons tonight, and we're going to meet in executive session and talk about those pros and cons of those uh, candidates. Both come with impeccable uh, backgrounds, and you know. Both have done incredible things. School board member Woody Koppel says the district's come a long way since Katrina, with the highest graduation rate in the state and academics are second to none. The next superintendent must navigate a system of 11,000 students in schools in the recovery school district, charter schools, and directly run schools. We've been at this juncture before. We had two finalists um, last year, and I thought that uh, both of those gentlemen, either one, uh, were well qualified and experienced and could have been uh, selected as superintendent. But after executive session, neither candidate received the five votes necessary, a scenario that could happen again as members of the Orleans Parish School Board are hopeful that history doesn't repeat itself. I'm hopeful that uh, we can get there this time, uh, but, you know, the, the juror is out on that. And once again, that meeting just got underway. We're told if a superintendent is elected tonight, he or she will begin as soon as possible. And also on tonight's agenda, the election of a new president for the Orleans Parish School Board. On your side, live in Tremaine, LaTanya Norton, WDSU News. Back to you.